In this video, we're discussing continuity and differentiability as it relates to piecewise functions. So let's take a look at this first. Piecewise function has three pieces defined as 3x minus 1 when x is greater than 1, 2 when x is equal to 1, and 2x when x is less than 1. Our first question is, does the limit exist as x approaches 1? And notice that when we say x approaches 1, that is a two-sided limit. So we have to compare the left side limit with the right side limit. So the limit as x approaches 1 from the right side uses 3x minus 1. And if we plug in, we get 3 minus 1 is 2. The limit as x approaches 1 from the left side uses 2x. And when we plug in, we get a 2. Since we get the same value, yes, the two-sided limit does exist because the left side limit and the right side limit are equal. Does f of 1 exist? Problem number 2. Well, yes, it does. At x is 1, our y value is 2. So, yes, the point exists. 3. Is f of x continuous at x is equal to 1? Well, the definition of continuity is the two-sided limit equals the value at the point. So, the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x is equal to 2, which is equal to f of 1, which is also 2. So, yes, the graph is continuous. Finally, in number 4, is f of x differentiable at x is equal to 1? Well, for it to be differentiable, there needs to be two parts to it. Is it continuous? And that answer was already provided in number 3 as yes. But then we need to look at sharp corners or cusps. So are there any cusps? Well, the easiest way to tell that is to look at the slope since they're both lines. So the top function has a slope of 3. The bottom function has a slope of 2. Well, if you start with a slope of 2 and then you go to a slope of 3, that's going to create a sharp corner, which is a cusp, which is a point of non-differentiability. So the answer to that would be no. Let's do one more example. We have a piecewise function defined as x squared when x is less than 2, uh, 4 when x is equal to 2, and x plus 1 when x is greater than 2. First of all, does the limit exist? And notice again, it's a two-sided limit. So we'll start with the limit as x approaches 2 from the right side of f of x. So from the right side, that would be using x plus 1. And when we plug in a 2 for x plus 1, we would get 3. Limit as x approaches 2 from the left side of f of x. Well, so that would be using x squared. And when we plug in the 2, we would get a 4. Since these values are different, no, the two-sided limit does not exist. Does f of 2 exist? Well, certainly it does. At x is 2, y is 4, so that would be a yes. 3, is f of x continuous at x is 2? Well, since the two-sided limit does not exist, we can say this is discontinuous because the two-sided limit does not exist. Is it differentiable at x is 2? Well, so since the two-sided limit does not exist, that kind of tells us that we have a jump. And a jump is a point of non-differentiability. So no, we cannot take the derivative there.